Okay, here we go. This is Sheena from For the Love of Paper, and this is the little pieces of ephemera that I was making from the washi book stacks, uh, part two. I <laughs> think I figured out my phone. Not positive, but goodness. If anything, I persevere. So I have brought two more to the party because I finished this one and this one when the, pho the phone camera had cut off. So I'm going to bring us, I've already got these glued cut out to the final parts, just so you can see what this looks like as a final product. Again, I'm starting with the vintage photo, just distressing this up pretty good. And I'm going to do the same thing for both. So in uh, the chance that this cuts off again, I'm going to do one completely. It's the same process for both. So then you at least have an idea. Um, I'm going to ink this little butterfly that's going to go on this one. I'm not sure that it really makes a difference, but it makes me feel better. I'm using Scotch Create glue stick. I'm gonna get this little butterfly down on here. And did I go around the edges with walnut stain? Not sure, but I did now. Okay. And I have this box of words, a big box of words that I created myself. Um, cut them all out. I see one that says nature. So we'll just ink that up. I guess this could be snipped a little bit. So it's not quite as long. And we're just gonna glue that on the top. Right there. So there's one, that's the process. So let's try the other one really quick. Uh -huh. I've uh, been doing a lot of Googling, trying to figure out what the problem is with this phone. And I'm certainly hoping that I figured it out at this point. Okay, so we got that inked up. I have this little Tim Holtz piece of ephemera. Um, pretty much all the ephemera, other than the words, is Tim Holtz that I put on all of these. So that will go there. I feel like I need a little bit more ink. Okay. Just miss that little piece there at the top. There we go. All right, another word. What kind of word do we want to use? Mm, my goodness, my fingers are very dyed. Hmm, reflect, how about that? I need to reflect on my day. Turn this camera to work. I did very good for the first one, got 20 minutes. Well, before there was an issue. And then, ever since then, not so good. All right, glue that up. Hmm, I think this is a bottom one, yeah. All right, so let me kind of just show you what I did. Um, these were the original three that I did, and I didn't put a piece of ephemera on them. I just put a word. And then in um, my other recordings that got cut off, I did put a butterfly. So that's why I went back in and put a little um, flower with that one. And then these our original, original, original with the ones without the tab. And then, mm, no, goodness, original. This one got cut off with the bird. And then this is the one I just did now. And in part one, these were the little 
like film strip chips that I had made. I think and I actually um, I'm gonna do this um, use uh, yearbook photos from an old 50s yearbook and put behind there. I think that would be a really cool little pieces of ephemera. So um, I hope you like this idea. Again, it's using these little vellum books um, or sticker books. Um, I had them and just don't have a use for them anymore. Um, especially the way that I have been crafting of recent. So I just wanted to throw this quick video together of an idea I had to use them. Um, these are all those as well. Um, so again, it's just fun little um, pieces to use in your journals. If you enjoyed this or have any um, comments or suggestions, you can go ahead and um, comment on the video and let me know if you have any feedback. And again, this is Sheena at For the Love of Paper on YouTube, Instagram, and then For the Love of Paper Co. on Etsy. Thank you. Bye.